Time for another video, and in today's video, we're going to be simulating a Toffoli gate on the D Wave processor. Now, if you don't know what a Toffoli gate is, basically it's a controlled CNOT gate where you have two input qubits, and if they're both on, then it will perform a NOT operation on an output qubit. So we'll go straight into programming the qubits, and I'll show you what to do. So we open up MCC and then we just type in the name, we'll call it to fully and then type in the file name to fully.txt. Okay, now the HYS values. Um for this program we're gonna use qubits 48, 50, and 53. We all need a few cu um three qubits um to perform a to fully gate. So, we need to give them a positive bias. The input qubits need to have a, a higher bias than the output qubit. So the first one will be 0.6. Don't, we're not using 49. And then we'll give this bias um, 0.5, so you can see that it only changes when both are when both are flipped. We're not going to use 51 or 52, and 53 will be the output qubit. So we'll give it a lower bias. So we'll give it a bias of 0.2. Okay. And we'll need to decrease the rate for the um, input qubits. So. We'll decrease them by 0.1. Leave that one zero. Minus 0.1. Leave that zero. Leave that zero. And 53 will also be zero. The reason is, is because I want to show you that um, the output qubit only flip when both the input qubits have flipped. And 54 and 55 won't be changed. Now the J, for the J biases, we're only going to be using the first coupling. So qubits 48 and 53. That's the only coupling we're going to use. So we need to give that a bias of 0.6. Same as the input qubit. Oops, it needs to be positive. And then the rest is zero. And then we need to decrease the rate sorry we need to decrease the bias by 0 0.1 and we'll run it for 20 steps and there you go so we'll have a look hmm can't exactly see because the console's overwritten the um, results, but yeah, you can see that it's worked. You can see that um, both are flipped. I'll do it again so you can see that it's actually like done it when only both have flipped. So we'll type it again to folly. Folly.txt bias will be, we'll give it a low bias of 0 0.4 0.3 0.2 and we'll leave them 0 decrease that by 0.1 that 1 2 Okay, now the J bias needs to be the same as the highest bias for the in one of the input qubits. That'll be not point. What was it? Not point four. And all of them are zero. And then we need to decrease it by not point one over time.
and we'll give it 16 steps. 15. Okay, so now it's complete. We'll check if you can actually see now. Yeah, you can see. So you can see here that um, only one of the input qubits, qubit 50, is on. The other one isn't because it's a minus one, which is a zero. But you can see here that, yep, yeah, hasn't changed yet. But then you can say in this one here that qubit 48 and qubit 50 are both, both flipped and thus qubit 53 which is the output qubit has flipped as well. So you can see that the, the um, Toffoli gate has worked. Now, the Toffoli gate, if it's, um, if the um, no operation's already already been performed, um, it can be reversed so that when they're both on, oh sorry, when they're both, when both the input qubits are on, but the um, output qubit is also on, it will flip back to a zero. Um, this can be done by just reversing the bias. So increasing the bias instead, like we've seen with all the other um, programs that we've done so far. So that's pretty much it.